morning everyone and welcome back to a new vlog i just made some greens and now i am ice rolling my face it is currently 7 32 and i have been up for a while i woke up at 6 a.m i'm trying so hard to become a 5 a.m girly but it's so hard i am so tired at 6 a.m and i honestly don't know how people wake up at 5 a.m i might need to start going to bed a lot earlier but um, both me and Mike woke up at 6 a.m. and then we headed to the gym. As I mentioned in my last vlog, we have started to either go to the gym or we go on a morning walk with our weighted vest. And to morning, to morning, this morning we decided to go to the gym. And because we're so tired, like both me and Mike are so tired when we wake up, we basically just put our clothes on and then head outside right away because otherwise we know that we will just stay in bed. Uh, so I always do my like morning routine stuff after the gym. I probably should be drinking my greens before but that's fine today i just made them after <laughs> anyways i'm going to head in the shower and then i'm gonna get ready for the day i don't really have too much planned today except for i need to go grocery shopping because we have no groceries i can't even make breakfast so i definitely need to go to the grocery store but that's like the only thing i have planned for today i'm probably gonna do lots of stuff but number one on the to-do list is definitely to go grocery shopping <laughs> I just got out of the shower and I already did my skincare and I'm gonna do my makeup but I thought it would be fun to show you how I do my everyday makeup routine because I don't think I've shown you how I do my makeup in like over a year so that was a while ago and I have received a few requests for me to show you how I do my makeup so let's start <laughs> so I already sprayed my face with this Kaya Cosmetics that extra hydration moisturizing setting spray because my face is very dry at the moment obviously because of the weather so I already sprayed that and the next thing I use is I will either use the Hollywood flawless filter by Charlotte Tilbury or I will use Fenty Beauty's East Drops blurring skin tint I love both but I normally use this one and then if I'm like going out or something I will actually use both I will just apply this all over my face and then I just blend with a foundation brush or like a buffering brush. And then for concealer, I use this Morphe filter effect in the color Rich 30. And I just apply this under my eyes and also around my mouth because I am very dark around my mouth. And then I usually let this sit for like just a minute just to let it dry a bit. And then I will go in with my, what is this called? A beauty blender. <laughs> Next, I use Rare Beauty's Cream Blush in the color Love. I absolutely love this stuff. And I apply quite a lot because I love blush. <laughs> I know a lot of people blend this with their fingers and I have tried it, but I don't know. I just really like blending it with a brush. For the setting powder under my eyes, I use Laura Mercier's Translucent Honey. And then after a minute, I will just blend the setting powder with a brush and then I go in with the Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. So I guess this is kind of like a foundation, but I love this powder so much. And then I actually like to apply a little bit more blush because again, I love blush. So I use the Kaya Cosmetics face palette and I use the blush and, oh, you can see my camera. I use the blush and also the highlighter from this palette. And 
For my eyebrows, I use the Precision Brows from Kaya Cosmetics in the color Dark Brown. But I'm going to do this off camera because I need to have like a mirror very close to my face. Otherwise, my brows will look like a mess. So I will be back when the brows are done. The brows are done. I forgot to mention, but I also use Kaya Cosmetics Brow Gel in Clear to set the brows. And then for my eyelashes, I have started to use an eyelash curler and I like I never used to use an eyelash curler before, but ever since I started watching Alex Earl, um, I had to get the same eyelash curler that she uses. So it's just the Tweezer Man eyelash curler. And then I also use Maybelline Sensational Mascara in Intense Black. <laughs> And I use about two or three layers with this mascara. And I always get a bunch of mascara on my eyelids. So I clean that up afterwards. And the last step is my lips. I already removed all the like foundation and stuff that was on the lips. And then I use Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Lip Liner into medium. I also use NYX Lip Pencil in Espresso. And lastly, I use Pillow Talk Medium Lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury as well. Sometimes I will also use the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This one is in vanilla, I think. Yes, vanilla. I'm just gonna apply a little bit, just in the center. I almost forgot setting spray. I'm actually almost out of this one. This is Kaya Cosmetics That Extra Hour, but I also have the Urban Decay All Nighter, so I think I'm gonna use that one. And then I just let this dry. But yeah, this is basically my everyday makeup routine. I definitely don't wear makeup every day. I usually just wear makeup whenever I film videos or if I'm going like outside or something like that. But definitely not every day. But when I do, this is how I do my makeup. <laughs> so I'm gonna head to the grocery store and I already wrote my grocery list because I cannot go grocery shopping without an actual list. Like I know some people they will just go to the store and they buy whatever that they're out of like oh I need some pasta I need some chicken I cannot do that because otherwise I will get home with a bunch of food but nothing I can actually cook so I always write in my notes in my phone so first I always write all the meals and then the actual list with everything and it's quite a lot today, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to carry everything home. The store is very close. It's literally like two minutes walking distance, but it's always so heavy to carry all the bags home, but I'm sure I will be fine. and I got a lot of food. So I'm just gonna unpack everything and then I will show you what I got. So this is everything I got. So it's quite a lot. And this will last us about two weeks or so, sometimes longer, sometimes less, it just depends. But I got some veggie burgers and some veggie meat. I also got some salmon. And then here we have some oatly, oat milk and cooking cream. Love this. This is some protein milk that Mike likes to use for his protein shakes. Got some tea, some honey, sriracha. And then here we have a bunch of veggies. So spinach, strawberries, cucumber. I got this big pack of blueberries, avocado, banana. We have some oats back here. We go through this so fast because both me and Mike love eating oats for breakfast. So I got that. And then I also have some chickpeas and crushed tomatoes back there. And then here we have more veggies and fruits. In Sweden, they don't want people to use plastic. So you can still buy plastic bags, but they're like super expensive. So they have these paper bags so people stop using plastic. But just got some onions, some carrots, 
tomato. I actually got a lot of tomato. I have tomato back here and then some more tomatoes here. I think this is potatoes. This is ginger because I'm gonna make ginger shots. Apples and eggs and then bread. And yeah, that's basically everything. So I'm going to clean out the fridge because it is very messy in here. And then I'm just gonna put everything away. It is actually a little bit later. It is almost 5 p.m. and I've just been doing some computer stuff. I've been editing, answering emails, all of that. And then I took a little break because I wanted to go to this flower shop that I saw on Instagram. And basically this flower shop only sells fake flowers, but all the flowers look so real. And I went there on Monday because I wanted white tulips, but they were out of stock of the white tulips. But she told me to come back today because because they were getting more so I went there and I got the flowers and you guys look at these tulips they look so real and I am so impressed and I'm so happy that I don't have to spend more money on fresh flowers that go bad after like three or four days these were $50 and I don't know if that's pricey or not for fake flowers but I feel like I would spend like I probably spend $50 a month on flowers so this is like a month but I can keep them forever so I'm so excited I'm gonna put them in this vase that I got from Ikea last week also highly recommend this was only I think $10 and it's just so nice so I'm gonna put the tulips in the vase and then I'm going to put them in the bedroom they are so pretty I don't know if I actually need all 10 in here maybe I'll do eight or nine <laughs> So this is what it looks like beside the bed. I think it looks so good. I really wanted to have a vase with flowers beside the bed, but obviously like this space is very small and all the other vases I tried were just way too big, but this looks perfect. And also, by the way, the hatch alarm, I unboxed this in my last vlog. And if you have been thinking about getting a hatch, but you're not sure if it's worth it or not, I say go for it. It's so worth it. I love the hatch alarm so much and it really helps with waking up in the morning so highly recommend but yeah let me know what you guys think i think it looks great i am so tired i don't know why but i am just exhausted and it is already 7 p.m and i have not had dinner yet but i could literally go to bed right now but i have to eat something like i obviously went grocery shopping today but i was looking in the fridge and i was like there is nothing that i want to eat but we do have some leftovers from yesterday so i think i'm just gonna have that so i don't have to cook anything mike is also in um his office they are watching i'm actually watching it too the barcelona against manchester united game the soccer game i think it's champions league um so he won't be home until i think 9 p.m so i obviously don't have to cook anything for him or for us so i think i'm just gonna have some leftovers for dinner <laughs> we had this lentil bolognese last night so i'm just gonna heat this up Dinner is ready. That took like two minutes. Love that. <laughs> I'm also sitting on the floor, if you can't tell. There's the couch. 
I like sitting on the floor when I eat by myself. In our next apartment, I definitely want to have a better space for like dining and stuff because me and Mike always eat our food in front of the TV and it's not like I don't enjoy because I do. I really like watching something while we eat, but I also just want to have like a better space. Like the table is right there and I feel like we can just sit here because like it's the same thing but hopefully in our next place whenever that is we'll have a better space to eat dinner but yeah i'm just gonna watch the game and see what happens mike is um a huge barcelona fan so i have to support his team <laughs> But as I mentioned, I am so tired today. So I made myself some tea and I'm just gonna lay in bed and read my book before I go to bed. Mike is also on his way home and he said that he's super tired too. So we're probably going to bed early today. So I wanted to end this vlog here. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.